Yo, yo, what's up guys? Mike here. Owens pressure washing. So I was just, oh, as always, organizing stuff in my trailer, trying to get a fourth reel in there. Um, but I figured I'd do a, a chemical lineup because I got to start uh, putting things in a shed that I got. This way, you know, I'm just going to kind of like with Red Raider, uh, I'm going to just carry it in a small gallon. Same with Snotmanade. Um, but yeah, I'll go through. So, I guess let's start with Red Raider. So, Red Raider is great. Red Raider is almost like a, it's a degreaser, cleaner. Um, it's non-caustic, non-buttle. It's good for, if there's, you know, like for instance, if there's, uh, if you're trying to clean grease off concrete and there's a lot of metal frames or windows or glass doors around or a lot of plants, just more eco-friendly than the, the, the hydroxide uh, caustic bottle base cleaner so it's almost like a so it's almost like an EBC so I carry you know I got my five gallon I got to get more and I keep a gallon on the truck EBC same thing industrial strength cleaner multi-purpose um, works good as a degreaser water based biodegradable eco-friendly all right then we go to more caustic stuff um, this is called BD20 and it's a degreaser. It's got, you know, surfactants in it. It bubbles up. It's very strong. It's called BD20. It's got buttle and other degreasing properties. Uh, Russ also sells something called BD200 and what it is is pretty much it's the same thing except for it has hydroxide, sodium hydroxide and buttle. So this is just the buttle version. Um, if I want to get some deep tire marks or oil stains, I go ahead and use this. And if I want to beef it up a little bit, um, I always keep, you know, like five pounds of uh, caustic sodium hydroxide beads. Um, what I do is I can just throw uh, a pound of this per gallon and downstream it put a little little soap in there get it sudsy and that's a degreaser on its own um, I can add it in with the bottle actually and if I wanted to I believe I've never done it but I think you could add it in with Red Raider too if you want it to you know to make it to beef it up another thing I always carry raw product oxalic acid um, it's good for rust removal, but uh, brightening fences, wood fences. Uh, I keep, you know, five pounds of it on the truck at least. I usually keep, you know, 10 to 15 pounds. I order 20 at a time. Russ sells them. Good, good deal for hydroxide and oxalic acid. Um, coming along, if you're on, you know, if you're doing windows, this is good to keep for hard stains. Um, both of these products they're pretty much similar diamond magic they're both like a cream rub on rub off type deal it's good for windows uh, you know cookware so if you want to clean off a doorknob or something like that try it out recommend it's good having it on the truck another big one that I love big fan of this stuff snotmanade um, I uh, always using this stuff every day um, I just can't speak highly enough about it it's good for windows uh, house washing when I say windows when I do a house wash the windows come out sparkling um, as long as you rinse really well and uh, don't let it dry the windows come out spotless snotmanade um, I'm a bigger fan of the snotmanade cherry than the lemon but it's uh, whatever whatever floats your boat all right, we already talked about the EBC cobble prep. This is for rust stains, efflorescence. Um, oh, it's good for I use I have it because when I do paver sealing, it's good to prep with. So after you clean it with your SH and you surface clean it, rinse it off really well, get all that mold out with the SH, rinse that all off. You're going to come in with the cobble prep and that will get rust and it will also get it'll also prepare the uh the pavers or the tiles for receiving the sealer so it's good to have um purex crystals 
Um, these bad boys, if you haven't used them, go ahead, give them a try. Uh, when I'm doing a roof, when I'm coming down off the ladder after I'm done finished the roof, while the rinse, you know, the final rinse process is going on, I go around, sprinkle these around, uh, you know, the driveway, the front door patio, the back patio, wherever customer's gonna walk out, they'll get a whiff of this stuff. It's better than the SH. It's gutter grenade. Um, oh, gutter grenade works pretty well. Um, I go back and forth between LA Awesome, which is pretty much a degreaser, and it works just as well as the gutter grenade. Um, you know, kind of just whatever I grab is what I use. Percarbonate cleaner, don't use much of it. Um, I've done it, I've tried it out a few times. It cleans fences. It's, it's just a more eco-friendly type base. Uh, slower process, but it cleans. Um, not as well as SH, but it works. Um, they also make the, uh, what is it, F10? The uh, hydroxide base one. I've had that in the sample pack. I don't get it anymore just because I buy the raw sodium hydroxide, as I showed you. Klingon, I went through that. A um, couple drops in there. Eliminator, never was the biggest fan. I mean, literally, I got this in a sample pack, and that's all I used. I got, like, it's not many much better. Um, this is just, just like Purex crystals. You sprinkle them around. I just, I whenever I go to the store, whatever's on sale. So one week this might be on sale. One week that might be on sale. Um, let me see something. Oh. I guess I got to get more but whenever I go to the store whatever's on sale if it's Purex or there's a couple different brands this is uh, Arm & Hammer but basically uh, what are they called what's the name of these things scent boosters they're good for covering up the scent uh, Apple Wash I don't use it too much I have it um, this is only the second gallon I ever bought and I'm not even halfway done it um, once in a while I guess if I know the homeowner is going to be home or it's going to be a nice video shoot for a roof cleaning, I might throw that in the uh, in my mix bucket for the proportioner and, you know, make a little show out of it. So that's always good to have, but it's not my needs, my go-to. Uh, F9, I keep groundskeeper. It does work. I've used it on, uh, you know, those deep oil or tire stains. Uh, on driveways haven't used much of it I don't really get too many oil stains I'll try it out here and there it works good F9 Bark great product really is um, you know I uh, less than half in here but what I do is I use the oxalic and if that ain't touching it I'll grab this stuff out so I do use it but I go to Oxilic first just because it's $2 a gallon versus, uh, I don't know, I want to say $40, $35 for a gallon. So $2 a pound versus $40 a gallon. I, I'd rather go to Oxilic. This I've used on um, graffiti before. It worked. Um, but it was one of them things where it was like, uh, I think it might have been permanent marker or paint marker and it happened like 12 hours before i went use this stuff it worked um this stuff i use it to wipe down um if i get a nice wooden finished door i'll tape up the door and then if it's dirty after i'm done washing the house or roof um i'll wipe it with this so you know this way just you don't want to put sh if you if you're getting a scared to put sh on the door use this stuff this stuff right here this is a uh trade secret this is sodium uh sodium theosulfate um 100 sodium theosulfate one teaspoon of this um 
into a gallon of what how do I yeah I put one teaspoon I put a couple teaspoons in a five gallon bucket and downstream it and do a final rinse on plants it's a chlorine neutralizer look it up on uh I uh, now I order it by the 20 pound bags I think it's yeah 20 pound bags and I think it's like $24 so go ahead give it a shot um, I'm not saying you need it or don't need it but it neutralizes chlorine so there you go trade secret aluminum brightener this works good on um, I use this on rust sometimes actually um, if I get you know back when I, you know, before I had bark, I was using this stuff. Um, honestly, I'm not sure, but they're kind of the same in the sense of uh, this is a uh, sulfuric acid or hydrofluoric acid. This works good on um, when oxalic doesn't work on fertilizer stains. This works. And then buttle. I keep buttle in there if you want to pump up your uh, stripper. Or if you want to pump up your degreaser, you could put a little bottle in there. Very little. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I always keep uh, WD-40. And uh, this stuff's uh, white lithium. This is good for the fittings because it doesn't bulk the O-rings up. Although Viton doesn't really bulk up with this. But this tends to plump up your O-rings. So if you ever tried to put your J-Rod in your... Um, you know quick connect on the end of your gun that doesn't fit for some reason it's because your o-ring got plumped up so you just could put a new o-ring in there but this white lithium does a good job with uh greasing up your fittings without you know before i get off here guys i got uh, a couple more things i wanted to show you my uh for my sanitizing stuff And this is a uh, counter agent. This is a sodium hypochlorite neutralizer, bleach neutralizer as well. And this is the uh, stuff I use for. This is the stuff I was using to sanitize. Dude, uh, one ounce per two gallons. So I'm not even halfway done my first gallon that I cracked open somewhere in here. But I don't know. Tyvek suit shoes or um, what do you call it booties they're good to have these booties so um, I think that's pretty much it guys um, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed that's my chemical lineup and uh, for soft washing pressure washing and you know my soaps so all right, guys, hope you're out there killing it. Take care. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below.